the morning routine for Nicholas Cassidyne. He owns the Royal Razor Barbershop in downtown Baltimore. I love it. I mean, owning my own, you know, business, uh, kind of, you know, American dream, and also employing uh, other people. His experience in the Navy gave him the skills to operate a business. I was in charge of, you know, setting a goal and getting people to follow me to accomplish that goal. And it's no different once you step out of the uniform. It's all about, you know, solving problems, uh, completing objectives. One thing that helped him open the doors in 2012 came from the Small Business Administration, which gives veterans special considerations. For veterans right now, we have no fee or a reduced fee loan for the veterans, so it gives them more money up front to put in their pocket that they can use to help grow their business. That can mean thousands to tens of thousands of dollars in savings, depending on the size of the loan. The SBA is taking it a step further. They're kicking off Operation Fund My Biz for veterans interested in starting or growing their businesses. This week, there are events like this happening all over the country. It's free, and it puts veterans in front of lenders big and small. Macaroni and cheese, collard greens, kale mixed, you know what I mean? Just regular comfort food. Army veteran Kevin Harrison is considering starting up a food truck. He's here to see if he can get help, but he is skeptical. I've been to a bunch of these events, um, and if you've been watching the news, the government is telling us they're going to do things for us, but there's a bunch of my brothers out here sleeping on the street. Nicholas Cassadine says he would encourage veterans to go. He got help and thinks it's important that others do too. It's nice to, to know that it's, um, that it's being appreciated and that certain considerations are made for them to, to help them. In downtown Baltimore, Megan Pringle, WBAL, TV 11 News.